Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. My name is Dean R. Davis. I'm from White Earth Reservation. I'm a road member over there. I'm currently in the process of going back to school here at BSU. I enjoy doing birch bark and wood carvings and other kind of carvings because it helps to keep my mind active. The more creativity you can produce, the stronger you are spiritually and mentally. I will be making a, a birch bark uh, basket, a waste basket. It requires a lot of sewing and uh, preparing because you can't just grab a piece of bark and slap it together and start sewing it. You got to cut it out and measure it and uh, form it together. Right now I just tied off that one end and I'm going to take the clip off right here and casually work my way around. I mean, it's, it's a kind of a long process, but they say you got to have patience in order to do good craftsmanship. Without patience, you'd never make nothing very well. You know, things become, things happen when you hurry up. You know, it's always, don't say, oh, I got to have this done today because you never know, you might, something might come up where you won't be able to get it done today. You know, you just got to um, take it one step at a time, you know, just like in anything else you do in life. You get up in the morning, you, you go, go to the bathroom to brush your teeth, you just don't walk right in there and start brushing your teeth. You got to put the toothpaste on, the, the brush, and turn on the water, and all the other good stuff, and then start, you know, so there's a... There's a process to it, you know? I mean, people think that artists are just, oh, they can. The funniest thing that ever had happened to me is if I made a, art, a piece of artwork and somebody would come up and say, oh man, that's awesome, that's a beautiful piece of artwork. Can you make me one exactly the same? There's no way you can. I mean, there's, there's not two pieces of wood the same there's not two pieces of bark the same, just like there's not two, same, two individuals the same. But people don't see it that way. They figure, oh, it's a made product by a man. It can be duplicated easily. I mean, it can be simulated, but it can't be duplicated. You know. I've been making arts, all kinds of different arts and crafts now for 30 years. You know, some I've learned. Um, like 30 years ago and some I've learned 20, 15 years ago, you know what I mean? I didn't learn it all at once, you know, because you can't learn everything all at once, you know. It's like that old saying goes, you can't have everything, where would you put it, you know? And so, I mean, but I've learned it over the years. I've ran into the right people that are willing to teach me and I was a good student and now I enjoy doing it. I mean, I. I mean, if I didn't enjoy doing this, I wouldn't do it. My brother taught me, and I had some friends teach me. Um, I guess mostly family taught me, and some friends, but most of the time, you know, if I like doing something, I will, um, I will pursue it. I mean, I will try to learn the craft or you know, try to keep it, or, you know, I mean, because there's, there's always something out there new to learn, you know, I mean, it ain't something that, you know, just, I mean, don't ever give up saying I can't learn, you know, because there's no truth behind that. Doing this is like, you know, real nice and peaceful and quiet. It helps you to, um, you know, be peaceful with yourself and, you can sit outside and do this, and you can listen to the birds in the background whistling, but not today, you know, but, I mean, but they're usually out in the back whistling, you know, or singing, and you're just enjoying yourself, and once in a while I'll catch a bird song that I like, or a bird whistle that I like, and I'll try to imitate it. Nah, I better not whistle right now. Uh-oh.
Even when you're out doing this stuff, you gotta kind of amuse yourself, you know, because there ain't no music around or anybody else to talk to. You just gotta sit out here and whistle and do whatever you, you can to, you know, keep going. If you want to learn how to make traditional art, I'd go offer my tobacco to an elder and ask him to teach me, you know, teach me how to do this. You know, because it's disrespectful for people to go up to somebody and say, hey man, you want to teach me how to do that? Without giving them anything, you know. And like, well, I mean, if we, I wouldn't, um, I guess if, if they do it in the right way, because this is, you know, this is like traditional art. This ain't something that you can go, you know, go put on a bandsaw and carve it, cut it out, you know. I mean, this is all done by hand. There's no, no machinery or anything done with it. You know, and that's what makes it so beautiful. Is if, you know, cause a lot of things are done by, by um, machine nowadays and they call it art. And it's not art. You know, if you can't do it by hand, then it's not art. When you get in bark, don't try to be a gookoosh, you know, a pig, don't try to, don't try to uh, say, oh, I'm gonna get all these trees because they're, they're all right there. You know, you got access to, like say you see 40 bark birch trees sitting in front of you and you wanna peel all of them today. Like, no, you don't wanna do that. Peel as much as you're gonna use within the next couple days. You can always come back for other stuff. You know, because people get wasteful that way and, you know, end up throwing stuff away that you could really be used. When you're harvesting this bark, or like with your heart, you're harvesting any other kind of thing from nature, you know, maybe a tree or maybe a, a rock or a leaf, you know, maybe something else, you know. You always got to offer your tobacco, no matter what it is. It's telling the creator that you're thanking him for taking this this piece of wood from him. Because that's like, that'd be like somebody coming up to you and taking a piece of hair off your body, you know, and not giving you anything or you'd be kind of mad about that. So that's why you gotta give that, you know, show, show the creator respect, you know, for taking this piece of wood and, and thanks, you know, for allowing me to do this, you know. Instead of some people just take and not give anything, you know, so this is just showing that we're being respectful to the creator and that we're, you know, giving our thanks for allowing us to take that piece of wood or that bark. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4th, 2008.